Hello, third year. How are you today? Well, today is Monday, the 24th of August. It's sunny and hot. I hope you are fine and okay and happy. So we're going to analyze the mistakes from unit 9. Yes, okay. Then we're going to revise again indirect questions, past perfect, atención cuando aparece before and after, Vamos a ir a video watch después y después te voy a explicar cómo vas a hacer para grabar el 2. Este no va a ser 3 minutes video, sino va a ser 2 minutes video, a 2 minutes video, donde vas a explicar, yes, you are going to explain, es una consigna que está en el libro, ¿sí? En la página 110, page 110, exercise 8, yo te voy a explicar cómo hacer, vos vas a seguir estos pasos, ¿sí? But in 2 minutes. La consigna dice en dos minutos, we are going to explain a group of tourists, uh, we are going to give a group of tourists a presentation about Buenos Aires. Yes, it's clear? Well, so let's go. The first thing I want you to do, yes, I want you to do, yeah, is to open your file, yes, on the grammar and the writing, yes, and uh, pay attention to the mistakes I have corrected. Yes, is it clear? Hay algunos uh, emails of request que estuvieron mejor en el que me entregaron antes que el que hicieron en el test. Así que atención ahí, ¿qué pasó? Fíjense. Is it clear? So let's go now. Yes, okay. Pay attention. Están fallando las terceras columnas. Está uh, fallando el, el tema de estudio. Cada uno sigue en su eh, file, en su prueba que tiene ahí en el classroom. ¿Yes? Entonces, en la frase número uno, nosotros tenemos la palabra after. ¿sí? Y cuando me aparece after y before, yo tengo que estar atento. Acá aparece before, en la frase número seis que me va a venir un pasado perfecto. ¿Cómo se forma el pasado perfecto? Con had más la tercera columna, que sería el pasado participio, ¿sí? Past, past participio sería, se le dice la tercera columna. Dice, after we have paid, después de haber pagado, uh, the waiter, blah, 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 he bought us, he brought us, nos trajo, entonces, ahí, Brought us. Hay una combinación entre pasado perfecto y pasado. Yo había marcado la línea de tiempo que acá estamos en el pasado y cuando yo me quiero ir atrás en el pasado va a ser un past perfect. Y hay dos cosas, dos conectores, dos adverbios que me van a introducir ese pasado perfecto. Toda esta explicación yo le di en las clases anteriores cuando presento el tema. Así que, atención, no estás viendo las clases con concentración o a lo mejor no las estás viendo. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Y eso se nota en donde, en, los, en las actividades que yo corrijo. Después viene la número 7 que también aparece un before. ¿Yes? Dice, uh, 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 she tried morning uh, camping before. Uh, uh, she tried camping before she had decided. ¿Yes? ¿Is it clear? Entonces, ahí tenemos todas esas frases. Yes, ok. Hay, hay una pregunta ahí. Has she tried? Yes. Has she tried camping before she decided? Yes. Has, había probado? Yes. Before she decided, antes de decidir. Mm -hmm. Ok. Good. Um, number two. Got... Yes. When she got at the airport, the plane, cuando llegó, ¿qué es lo que se va para atrás en el pasado? 
¿eh? el avión ya se había ido. The plane had already... Um, Ah, perdón, perdón. When she, uh, yes, arrived, the plane, uh, perdón, 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 a ver si me perdí. When she got, yes, when she got to the airport, the plane had already left. Yes, okay. Number three, we learned that we, the last bus, so we, yes, had missed, ¿sí? Sabíamos que habíamos perdido el autobús, entonces, ¿qué? So, we, yo voy a ir leyendo acá porque no me queda todo entero. So, we uh, took ta, ta, ta. Number three, four. By the time the train arrived to, in Mumbai, they... Had already, they had traveled. Cuando llegó, ya habían viajado un montón de kilómetros. ¿Está? Ok. Uh, number five. I didn't want to eat on the plane as I had just, had just, Yes, had just. Esto es el, el adverbio. Yes, had just forgotten. Tenemos ahí. El adverbio del present simple que se traslada ahora al pasado simple, que son los mismos. Al pasado perfecto. Yes, ok. Number six. Uh, he suddenly realized that he had forgotten. Bueno, a ver. Se dio cuenta, entonces tenemos realized. Se dio cuenta que that he had forgotten, que se había olvidado de traer tal cosa. Yes, ok. And number five is didn't want, had just eaten. Number seven, had she tried, yes, had she tried, había, had she tried camp, camping before, y ese es el que habíamos dicho antes. Ok. Bueno, y voy a dar otros ejemplos con respecto a eso. Yes, ok. Alicia drove to the airport. Yes, he had already checked. Number three. We went to the beach as soon as, as, soon as it stopped. It stopped or had stopped. Four. They booked the hotel. Ahí está. Reservaron el hotel. Después que after... Yes, así que luego teníamos aquí. After he had, lo que sea. Yes, after he had, yes, the book decided in family, decided in family. Yes, ok, is it clear? Entonces, reservaron después de haber, ¿qué hicieron primero? Primero decidieron y después eh, eh, reservaron. Is it clear? Yes, is it clear? Good. Number five. We switched off our phones when we enter. Yes. O we had switched off cuando entramos. Habíamos apagado nuestro cuando entramos. As soon as we enter. Yes, okay. Wrote a travel blog after she had said. Okay, entonces, ¿qué es lo que hizo primero? ¿Escribió un blog o primero que navegó? No, primero navegó y después escribió el blog. So, after um, she had sailed, she wrote, y eso sí, va en pasado, el blog. ¿Es clear? Entonces, cada vez que me aparezca before, after, pero tengo que ubicarme en la línea de tiempo. ¿Es clear? Before I had studied, I cooked. ¿Qué hice primero? Before I had studied, I cooked. Antes de haber estudiado, cociné. ¿Qué hice primero? Cocinar. Yes, ok, y después estudié. Before.
before I cleaned my, after I cleaned my teeth, I went to sleep. Yes, primero me limpié los dientes, me cepillé los dientes y después me fui a dormir. Yes, está, eso con respecto al past perfect, entonces prestar atención a esto. Y ahora me voy a las eh, eh, preguntas indirectas. ¿Qué pasaba acá en las preguntas indirectas cuando yo escribo un um, request? Email requesting for information. Para hacerlo, para hacerlo, habíamos charlado, yes, we, we saw it in the class before, in, the, in, the, in classes from Unit 9, that uh, if you write um, an email requesting for information, the, um, the um, language must be formal. Entonces decíamos que aparecían estas I'd like to know, uh, I would be grateful, if, entonces nosotros tenemos acá una cosa, uh, could you let me know, entonces estas son una, algunas de las frases que van a ser, que se llaman preguntas indirectas, que van a hacer que mi email suene más formal, el lenguaje. Entonces yo tengo, por ejemplo, esto. Where uh, is the camping? Quiero saber esto. Um, the frequency of the buses. Uh, how much is it? How much does the um, camping cost? Yes, ok. Entonces tengo estas preguntas. Acá voy a hacer esto. I'd like to know, I'd like to know. to know where is the camping, no puedo poner, tengo que poner where, sujeto más verbo, where the camping is atención, eh I, I would be grateful if uh, you tell me if you could tell me The frequency of, esta es fácil, ¿está? Could you let me know how much, how much, sujeto, the camping cost, cost. Y conjugo ese, tengo que conjugar, yes, ese verbo, yes, conjugate the verb, ¿sí? Entonces, how much does it cost sería el estilo directo. Pero el estilo indirecto tengo que poner cuando yo tengo estas frases, me gustaría saber, me podrías decir, me podría informar, estaría muy feliz, agradecería mucho si me informara cuánto, ¿sí? Entonces, where the camping is, how much the camping cost, entonces, cost, entonces, W, sujeto, verbo, conjugado. ¿Yes? ¿Sí se clear? Entonces, eso es lo que quería aclarar. Después teníamos en el punto 3, Which camper van is more expensive? Three, why do you always get lost? Where are the tickets? What do you want to see next? When do you plan to book the bed, the bed and breakfast? Number four, did you enjoy? Number three, does he afford? Number four, happened? Number five, did she take? Number six, pay? Number seven, amazing, bored? Y voy a aplicar también eso. Sí? Uh, pa, 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 pa adjetivos con ed y ng. Por eso digo que parece que hay personas que no están mirando las clases. Adjectives y g terminados en ed y ng. Yo había marcado, sí, en la clase, that a book, yes, ahora borro esta parte y me escribo acá. Yes, ok. Um, Entonces, habíamos, tenemos uh, boring and bored, ¿ok? A person, 
a book. A person can be bored. A book, a film. Yes, okay. Um, a TV program. Can be boring. Is it clear? Ok, entonces, lo mismo con interesting. A book, a film, a TV program can be interesting. And a person can be interested in something. Is it clear? Entonces, atención a las terminaciones con ED, ED y las terminaciones con ING. Is it clear? Entonces, vean las clases, tómense el tiempo, yes, y no salten, don't skip the classes, yes, ok. Good, ah, uh, bueno, esto es, I like to know, uh, ask for, you ask for information, yes, ok, is it clear, ask for information, good, well, so let's go to the video watch, yes, and In this video watch, we are going to go to Venice. And have you ever been in Venice? Would you like to go to Venice? Yes. Do you think Venice could be a great place uh, for holidays? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you like? What do you know about, about Venice? Yes. Have you ever been in Venice? Uh, what things do you know about this place yes and if you would like to go if you would like to go there and why why yes why not yes but first of all we are going to describe this picture for tourists in venice italy a gondola is the best way to travel so this is the means of transport yes okay uh when i see a gondolieri yes and this is a gondola Yes, that it is uh, the typical uniform, yes, of a gondolieri is a, um, a t-shirt, yes, uh, with um, black and white, yes, okay, and they also wear a hat, yes, okay, uh, let's, there you have, there is the river, yes, and in the background you can see the city, And you can see some lights, and you can see a famous hotel there, and you can see, um, I don't know, a kind of uh, restaurant, yes, um, uh, and the, the stairs there. And I think Venice could be a very nice place for a honeymoon, yes. I haven't been there. But I'd like to go there with my family because I think it is very cultural and it is very popular too. Apart from being beautiful, it has a lot of art. Yes, okay, art. And you know, there are famous masks because there is also a carnival there that is very, very famous. Yes, okay, and they wear this kind of masks. Yes, okay. So, if you see this kind of masks, and if you see them, uh, you have to buy them because these are specially designed and the material is excellent, but these masks are very expensive, yes? So, I'd like to go uh, to this place because apart from being cultural, apart from being uh, nice, beautiful, it's very romantic. Yes, so I would choose this as uh, to go, this place to go um, for a honeymoon. Yes, and I would like to go and see a gondolier. Yes, okay, because I know, I don't know, I have seen them in books and uh, in all the pictures of Venice. Yes, okay, and as a gift for someone, you know what is a, what a gift a gift is. Well, you know, as a souvenir, I would bring a mask, yes, uh, from Venice, yes, okay? Well, 
So um, apart from that, there are a lot of, apart from this gift, yes, okay, uh, apart from this souvenir, apart from this gondolier, yes, or from seeing this gondolier, he's the person who uh, is in charge of uh, driving, yes, the, um, the um, uh, boat, yes, okay, this means of transport, yes, okay, um, because, you know, many people moves, use it to move away, yes, move from one place to, uh, from move, not away, from move from one part to the other part of the city. Um, wait a minute, and then I would bring, I would, as a souvenir, and I could visit, I would like to see the traders, yes, because the traders are very important people there, yes, okay? So, uh, I want you to do exercise two, yes, okay? So, uh, one, okay, it's popular, we have already talked about that. Number two, living and working in a city might be great because it is, uh, because of its beauty, its history, I have already said that. Um, but it might be difficult because all uh, of all the tourism are high prices, you know, because uh, Venice is very, very expensive and uh, also it has a lot of pollution. It also has, sorry, it also has a lot of pollution. Yes, let's go to number two. It says one traders, yes, D, a person, yes, one D, yes, the traders. D, 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 people who buy and sell things. 2E, face the challenge. 2E, deal with difficulties. Yes, okay. 3A, my father is a gondolier. Yes, okay. 3A, a person who sails, but when I say drive, that is who sails a traditional boat, yes, called gondola, yes, okay, oh my god, I want to give myself, yes, okay, so a uh, gondolier is a person who sails, because I say drive, you don't drive a boat, yes, they sail the gondola, yes, the special, I say the boat, it's a special kind of boat called gondola, yes, okay, and then you have number four, C, four is property, Building that people own houses, apartments. 5D, move away. 5B, yes, is uh, leave one place to go and live to another place, yes, okay. 6G, yes, get to 6G, have an opportunity. 6G, have the opportunity to, yes, get to meet anyone famous. And 7F, Yes, gift, yes, a present, someone, something you are likely to have, yes, okay? Well, so I want you to do, after watching the video, you're going to do exercises three and four, yes? Is it clear? Good. It is early morning in Venice, before the light of the sun fills the famous Piazza San Marco. The traders of Venice are preparing for the crowds of tourists. In a few hours, thousands of people will come to this square. But so this is a very beautiful square, and it's the Marcus Square. The San Marco. The traders the of Venice are preparing for the crowds of tourists. You know, this is the square, yes? So traders go very early, and they prepare the things they sell Yes, and they are preparing themselves for the crowds of tourists. Yes, okay, because it is crowded. In a few... What does crowded mean? With a lot of people. Hours, thousands of people will come to this square. Did you see the t-shirt? The famous t-shirt of a gondolier? In a few hours, thousands of... You know, I have one and I love it. Yes, okay. People will come to this square. But for now, it's very typical. The people of Venice have the city to themselves. Market traders welcome the first visitors. Early 
early morning is the best time for shopping in the outdoor markets. So this is the market, the out, yes, the markets, yes. We have many, many kinds of fish. Oh my God, that's delicious. This is the part of Venice that most people never see. This is the Venice that some people call home. So if you want to have contact with the people from there, you must go to this, uh, this market, yes? Okay? Resident Fabrizio Capano says that he lives in the most beautiful city in the world. It's a city that's clean and easy to live in with a high quality of life. But for some people, Venice has disadvantages too. Okay. For some people living in Be some people living in Venice, Venice is not very nice. Why? My son, he, he doesn't uh, uh, love uh, live in Venice. I am very sorry. The population of Venice is getting older. Why? Okay, so it's the population. I mean, people who live there is getting older and older. Fabrizio says living in Venice is not cheap. It's not cheap, it's very expensive. But it is particularly expensive, and house prices have increased a lot in recent years. It's especially difficult for young people who want their own place to live. Okay, so if you... That's why the other person said it is difficult to live in Venice. Why? Because uh, young people can't afford Yes, can pay for an apartment, for example, can live alone. Yes, and they have to live with their parents until they are very old. Yes, okay. And it's a big, this, a big disadvantage for um, young people. Yes. Many of them must move away, which leaves Venice to the tourists. So what they have to do? They have to move away. That is uh, the, the word on exercise uh, two. Uh, sentence number five, they have to move away, they have to go, leave Venice to find another city to live, yes, that is cheaper and a place where they can pay for an apartment, for example, rent an apartment, have a job. It seems the whole world has come to the Piazza San Marco. The tourists come to experience a city that feels like it's still in the 15th century. No? Oh my God, you, you can see the architecture of the 15th century and it's amazing. And some local people say that's the problem. Okay, but for local people, the ones who were in the market, if you want to have contact with local people, yes, okay, uh, it is a disadvantage. What? This, yes, okay, that... Uh, they are living in the, like living in the night 15th centuries. They did change a, a lot when, since I was uh, I was born. Where? That is a gondolier. Yes, they wear this typical T-shirt, white and um, and black. Yes, and they sail the the gondola. Yes, okay, this special boat. Giovanni Dalmissier is one of the younger people who is trying to stay in his hometown. During the day, the huge crowds of visitors can make just come. Did you see? It's very crowded. Staying home from work, very difficult. I get bored with, with people and uh, with the tourists because they uh, are too much. Too much. Okay, so that is the problem. Local people get bored, yes, with they get bored ed they get bored with tourists because venice is all is every day crowded so it's difficult for them to come back home when they are uh when they to come back to come back uh, home from their jobs yeah because they it takes a long um uh, long hours yes jobs are another problem do you want to be a gondolier or work with tourists? If you don't, it can be difficult to earn a living. Okay, so there are two jobs that you can find there in Venice. 
to work a secondo di è or to work in tourism yes if you don't know how to do it yes okay you don't have a job there so that's why it's difficult for young people to stay in their own city yeah but some say that the young people who are leaving Venice will soon find that other cities are not so different. Florence is very expensive. Rome is very expensive. London, Paris, Vienna. Okay, and you know, this man has got a son that is living in another city, but then at the end, in the end, they say all the cities are the same because all the big cities have it this problem. Yes, they are crowded, they are expensive, it is difficult to get a job there, yes? So what can you do? People say that anyone who comes to Venice will fall in love, even if it's only with Venice itself. Giovanni Dalmissier knows the feeling. He says that despite all the challenges here, it's difficult to think of living anywhere else. I know that it's a, a very special gift that uh, for me, for me. Okay, so uh, for Giovanni, it is a gift, yes? What is a gift? That is the word you have on, pa uh, on page 115, sentence seven, senten sentence seven, yes, okay? And that is a gift, it's a present, yes? So living in Venice, despite of all the challenges he has to face, yes, is nice because he considered is a gift that was given to him yes because venice is very romantic it doesn't matter if you go with a couple if you go with your uh, boyfriend if you go, go with your husband you will fall in love all the same in venice because venice is a very romantic place yeah, it's a gift to live in a city as venice Only a few people get to enjoy living in Venice. These days, even fewer people are ready to face the challenges of living here. But for those who stay, it can be a wonderful experience. What a beautiful sunset! Every day I can experience the joy of falling in love with Venice all over again. Okay, that was a very beautiful sunset. And um, well, you have to face, you have to face the challenge. Yes, face the challenge of living there. Because it is a very romantic city, but on the other side, on the other hand, yes, on the other hand, it is very difficult for young people to get a job. Yes, okay, to have an apartment, yes, and to live alone, yes, okay. So that was very nice, okay? And well, so now, that was a presentation. That was, uh, I will give you the answers for an exercise three. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. I'm going to give you um, the, answer of, the answers of exercises three and four. And then I, I'm going to explain, I'm going to give you a short presentation of Buenos Aires. This was a presentation from Venice. So this is a good example on how we are going to record a two minutes video presenting a group of tourists. Yes, you will be the guide. Yes, okay. You will present Buenos Aires to a group of tourists. Yes, okay. So this was a good video. Yes, a good example on how you can organize your ideas to present Buenos Aires. Okay, good. Well. So, exercise uh, 3, 1B, 2F, 3A, 4D, 5E, 6C. Uh, exercise 4, early morning is the best time for shopping in the outdoor markets. Number 2, the most beautiful, the most beautiful city in the world. It is a city that is clean and easy to live in with a high quality of life yes okay number three 
The population in Venice of Venice is getting older. Four, property is particularly expensive. Number five, I get bored with the people, with the tourists, because they are too much, and then she said too many tourists, yeah? You know, tourists. Okay, they are uh, a gondolier or work with tourists. They are very expensive, yes, okay. Right, well, so that was all from page 114 and 115. And now I'm going to finish with the homework you have to, um, uh, you have to prepare. Yes, okay, I want to check something. Yes, okay, well, right. Are you prepared? Well, so the first thing you have to do is I have this a folder. I have prepared a folder of Buenos Aires. Yes, okay. You can play some music and everything. You can play a tango and everything. Yes, okay. This is my two minutes video. Um, and of course, you have to imagine that you are... Uh, yes, speaking, yes to a group of tourists and you have to explain them and uh, this is the, the main things they can do in Buenos Aires is it clear so it's about Buenos Aires no other place okay so in this two minutes video you have to be prepared because you are going to explain a group of tourists the main uh, points where they can go if they go to Buenos Aires okay well uh, First of all, good morning, uh, I'm Ruth, yes, and I will be your guide, yes, and I will introduce all the main uh, places you can visit here in Buenos Aires, okay? So, nice to meet you, yes, right, so we can start. First of all, you can listen, you can go to Puerto Madero, yes, you can walk along, yes, uh, Puerto Madero, to see the riverside, you can walk along the riverside, yes, and you can see the high buildings in Puerto Madero. It is very nice, you can also eat there because there are a lot of famous, uh, a lot of famous restaurants, okay? Two minutes video. Then you can see the obelisk, that is the obelisco, that is a very, very, that is very, very famous in Buenos Aires. Ahí puedes explicar lo que es el obelisco rápidamente. Yes, okay. And then you can go to Tor, Tor, Tortoni, perdón, Tortoni Cafe. And this cafe is very, very, very famous because the most important tango, the most important tango uh, singers, the most important writers like Borges, like, um, Alfo, um, like um, Borges, uh, uh, and other uh, Alfonsina, I think, well, this photo is with Alfonsina, Gardel, yes, okay, where you can see uh, the photos of very famous people like uh, tango singers like Gardel and um, writers, famous writers, yes, as Borges used to go, used to drink coffee. So I would really recommend Café Tortoni in Buenos Aires, yes? So apart from uh, drinking the most uh, delicious uh, café, you can, of course, see all the pictures from famous, famous people, yes, that used to go there. Of course, you can visit Puerto Madero, I have already talked about this. Uh, then you can go to the famous bar in Plaza Dorrego, Yes, you can, uh, well, there is the cafe again, yes, and you can, of course, visit Caminito, yes, uh, it is in, uh, it is very colorful, colorful, <coughs> it is in La Boca, yes, and it's a very nice place uh, for you to visit, yes, okay, that is Caminito, yes, okay. Well, I would really recommend to go to these places and we can start, yes, 
and after that you can go sightseeing and go shopping yes around the city that is all listo sí pero bueno yo puse algunas para dar ejemplos sí uh, muchos el café Torotoni es un café muy emblemático, la boca, yes, ok. Eh, en este café se encontraron muchos, eh, eh, muy importantes escritores, ¿sí? Entonces es súper recontra, mega archi emblemático. ¿A quién no le gustaría ir a tomar un café? Donde te imaginas que you can imagine with Borges used to go and many other writers, singers, as Carrel, yes, so it could be very nice, yes, organize your ideas first and then record the two minutes video, okay, bye-bye, see you next class.